late week and that your weekend is cool though if that's not the case don't worry i am here to give you all that has been hot lately in the entertainment industry so sit comfortably and let's get started man this is hot and juicy with me miss Bank. i you know how we do it here right stick around guys after this break we're gonna dive straight into serious matters Pour participer au Captain Bongo Bongo Challenge, constituez votre équipe de trois personnes âgées de 21 ans et plus, un captain et deux autres membres du groupe. Reprenez la chorégraphie du refrain de Bongo Bongo à la fin de votre reprise. Posez tous comme Captain Morgan avec le pied gauche suspendu. Le captain devra publier votre vidéo sur la page Facebook de l'île de l'Islameuse. Ajoutez les hashtags Captain Morgan, Bongo Bongo, Captain Bongo, Captain Slam. Nous primerons les 75 groupes ayant reçu le plus grand nombre de mentions j'aime. Tous les gagnants recevront un bon d'achat de 50 000 francs CFA. Soyez créatifs. Bon chance. Let's open this jeans with Meshi. Yeah, you're probably asking why we're still talking about Meshi on today's episode. It's because Meshi has been making herself very relevant in the industry. Lately, she's been saying things on and off and she's been giving it to us extra hot. In an exclusive interview with Cameroonian energy goddess MC Shalene, Meshi was asked why we had the less female collaborations on her newly released music project titled For My Hand. Meshi gave us shocking revelations about the nasty attitude of some of our actors. She said she really wanted a lot of female collaborations on her project when she got to Nabila Nabila said she will see about it with her team but she gave her no feedback when she got to Daphne Daphne was very passionate about the project but later became very lukewarm and gave no feedback Mr. Leo jokingly asked her for five million <sighs> can we take a minute and think about it like a few seconds five million what for just for a collaboration that's crazy but later mr leo asked me she to send him the song on which she wanted them to collaborate but unfortunately he gave no feedback like what was he asking the song actually for now about Sandrine Namga, Meshi said uh, Sandrine Nam Namga was very happy about the project like she's always been a good friend to Meshi so she jumped on the project. She's on the album on track number 8 titled Mine, yeah the album is 21 tracks. Now the shocking part of it or the most controversial part of that revelation was that of Renew. <sighs> Meshi said when she got to Renew, Renew asked her go to the studio lady do a song and send to me so that i can see with my team if i can jump on that song or not crazy right what's renew uh what was renew actually trying to let me she know like everybody knows um who me she is especially in the english section of this country me she's me she's an upcoming artist she's been in in this industry for long and somebody like renew should definitely know about that why was she asking me she to go to the studio record a song as if me she was starting her musical career like me she's very popular especially with the song she she did with salatia rambu said so Meshi could not step that low, so she said she was not going to do that. Yeah, her team vehemently refused her to do such. Like, why would not they do this thing to Meshi? Now, why would not they treat Meshi like that? That's not cool, man. Uh, anyway, it's, um, I personally think that Meshi was very right in what she said. Like, she, there was no need for her to apologize. What she said was deep from her heart. And she said loud and very clear what others are afraid to say. Anyways, that's a bygone because she ended up by apologizing after the news team came out like dragging her on social media. May she ended up by apologizing. Let's watch this. Hello friends, good morning. Um, I hope you all are doing fine. So a lot has happened the past couple of days. And um, it's my fault because I started the conversation in the first place. I'm doing this video to officially apologize to Renew and her team if I've harmed them in any way. Oh, crazy, right? I think maybe she was not wrong for what she said. Like, there's no two ways to say you got to an artist for a collaboration on your project and the refuse. Like, there's no two ways to say that. Anyways, if I were me, she, what would I have even done? Apologize? No, 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 I don't think so. Anyways, I'm not Meshi, guys. What do you think about Meshi's apology? A lot of people have been praising her, saying that that was a mature move, but like, seriously, was there any need for an apology for saying exactly how you're being treated in the, in the industry? This industry is really, really crazy, guys. So let me know what you think about uh, all this in the comment section. You and Vesca 
Cameroonian singer and entrepreneur Densha is set to hit the Cameroonian soil with her badass American girlfriend Black Chichi and a host of others. It's gonna be a six day straight private party, not open for anybody. Yeah, I mean it. It's a private party and it's not for any kind of personnel. Wait a few seconds when you get to know the price ticket. Like I was saying, we're gonna have a lot of Cameroonian celebrities around this event. It's a meet and greet. And actually, I was thinking, meet and greet are private parties. Are they actually public parties or private parties? Because I think meet and greet are parties where a celebrities get the opportunity to meet their fans and they ask them a couple of questions for them to answer. But this one is a private party, you know, like it's danger and the side black chichi is coming around. Events run from June 18 to June 23rd and will be holding here in Zuala. What's weird or crazy about this are the price ticket to the event. The prices range from 54,000 to 1.6 million. Yeah, that was not a mistake. I said 1.6 million. 1.6 million? Man, that's cool fees for some people for like three to five years. And this is a price just for a six days private party. What's been special about it? Like, is it like meeting? Is it, is it because of Black China that the prices are 54,000 to? 1.6 million, yeah, 1,000 US dollars to 3,000 dollars. What, what's, what's going to be special about this? Is it uh, just seeing uh, black China's nyash or oh, her voluptuous lips? <laughs> That's crazy, right? While we have special things attached to such prizes, the white party diamond ticket gives you access to a celebrity section for 1.6 million, meaning you have the opportunity to mingle with your favorite celebrities. Maybe you get to sit beside Black China. Who knows? Imagine sitting beside Black China and having to smell her beautiful perfume. Isn't that worth 1.6 million? The 1.6 million equally gives you access to uh, printed autograph pictures from your favorite celebrities. You're gonna have a table full of drinks, and besides, you're gonna have to walk on the red carpet. Oh, red carpet because of 1.6 million. I don't know if the red carpet is coming straight from heaven, but that's what is needed to walk on that red carpet. And above all, you're gonna have the opportunity to feature on the reality TV. Yeah, coming to Cameroon, they're gonna film it and it's gonna be shown around the world like people will get to see you in such a beautiful party who can't wait for it to start the national foundation will also be creating a chance for one cameroonian to win the sum of ten thousand us dollars yeah to fund their small business you all see that they're coming to cameroon it's going to be beneficial to one cameroonian that's definitely a great initiative and we can't wait for the meet and greet to hold i don't know if people are going to attend because of the exorbitant prices like when you sit at home you see maybe the prices are too too high and you think that nobody's going to attend the event well because people don't have money you actually think people don't have money people don't have money watch this video <laughs> Yeah, the person I want to see for this video now, Big Zogo Dongo. Yeah, and I'm picking for some one of our Cameroonian politicians who have been a president of the CPDM parliamentary group of the National Assembly. Yeah, it will really spend that money. And people that talk say, if that money not plenty, means it's not 50 million. Anyway, it will probably be uh, one of the beneficiaries of the COVID gate funds, and they will give more than 1 billion for fight against the COVID 19 pandemic in Cameroon. So we'll not actually know if that money will be spent them. If not part of the money where they give Papa for fight against COVID-19 for this Cameroon, all my personal money. This is just to show you that if you think there are people that won't attend the mid and greet Densha is organizing, then you're definitely beating around the bush because there are definitely some people having money in this country. Oh yeah! The African Creative Social Network and United Community is here! Umo Jami! Get into the game and stand the chance of winning the amazing sum of 5,000 francs! How to participate is very simple and this is how to go about it. Step 1. Visit umojami.com or download the app 
from Play Store or Apple Store. Step 2. Create your Umojami account which is the only way giving you access to the game. Step 3. Make a screenshot of your newly created account and post it in the comment section here on 237 Showbiza. Simple right? 10 people will be chosen at the end of the game. So let's get started and let Africa discover what you made of. Tino's new song goes down for YouTube with reasons not reviewed, man. Tino released a couple of days more precisely on May 24th. The video of his freestyle titled And There Is Best, which accumulated more than 100,000 views on YouTube in just two days. The freestyle was very much appreciated by his fans who said, Man, this is the Tino we've been longing for since he joined Universal Music Africa. Man, it's not a secret that since Tino joined Universal Music Africa, his career has been down here like a Moliko girl who has done this without it is. And then it has been down from YouTube for days now due to copyright claims from Universal Music Africa. Man, is this some kind of a large confirmation that uh, now is no longer signed to Universal Music Africa? If that's the case, man, I feel like shouting this is good news. We've had Tenor's uh, ex-manager insinuating that Universal Music Africa is now Tenor's ex-label, meaning that Tenor is no longer signed to them. According to him, and then Space was brought down from YouTube because it was very disrespectful to Universal Music Africa, especially when it concerns the lyrics. That's why the video was brought down from YouTube for you asking why the video was brought down from YouTube. That was the main reason. Universal Music thought that the freestyle was very disrespectful to them. And still confirming their split, we've had Pete Bacardi uh, who posted something like, uh, Take responsibility of what you sign. What are we supposed to understand by that? We've had Tenor who replicated by saying that take responsibility of the content you propose artists to sign. Man, this war is going to go far. Tenor and Universal Music are now dragging each other on social media like two elephants are fighting. Who's going to suffer? Probably not me, man. Well, these are all a large reasons with nothing confirmed yet on whether Tenor is still signed to Universal Music Africa or not. Well, like they say, there is no smoke without fire. And besides, Tenor is suing Universal Music Africa and charging them the sum of 15 billion francs CFA for damages. Let's wait and see where this war is driving to. Joby song Omen, which is a track from his top studio album 16 Wise, released on February 17, 2017, recently clocked a million views on YouTube four years after. Yeah! Can we take a moment and celebrate Jovi for this? This is good news and kind of strange too for an artist like Jovi who has self-proclaimed himself as the greatest rapper in Cameroon and in Africa. And according to Nigerian rapper M.I., Jovi has the most supportive fan base in Cameroon. And my question is, with the million of fans Jovi has, why is it very complicated or kind of difficult for him to reach a million view on a song just as or weeks after? And the flimsy excuse vocal gang members are giving is that it's very difficult for a rap song to reach a million views. Damn it! Are you guys serious? Without calling the name of any African artist, do you want me to tell you the number of views rap songs in other African countries club in just 24 hours of release? I don't think the problem here is the song because Jovi is definitely a great rapper. The problem is that we don't support our artists enough because listening, listening and vibing to a song is one thing and now sharing the song for others to get to know about it is another thing. We definitely have to support our artists by sharing their art out there for other African countries to get to know about it so that we can be able to accumulate a good number of million views on YouTube after as that song has been released. Lagos list of favorite Cameroonian artists test controversies on the internet. Lagos was invited as special guest of Africa 360 on BBC One Extra, which is a leading platform bringing in African artists and DJs to showcase the talent of their country. And Cameroon was brilliantly uh, represented by Lagos, who was given the honor to propose a track list of his favorite Cameroonian artists. And it's amazing to notice that on his list, there's no upcoming artists and there's no baller artists on it. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe Lagos was confused because he's presently working on a new project. Yeah, Loco is debuting in the movie sector and he's presently shooting the movie Chariot of the Gods, which is produced by Cameroonian film uh, producer Lucy Members Bao and the movie will be airing pretty soon. Man, check out the behind the scenes images. Looks 
interesting. Maybe this is a movie Netflix should have an eye on. Besides, I can't wait for the movie to drop. That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you very much guys for still watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. I'm giving you just a few seconds for that. Subscribe and hit the notification button. Top 10 countdown coming up right away. Our number 10 video of the week is from 16 years old Cameroonian artist Swaggy who makes a striking move in the music industry by releasing the official visuals of his debut single titled M.I.U. produced by McCoy the White as producer. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> Coming up at the ninth position, we have M Fair featuring Slim Ali and Fanny. The song is titled My Life. My life. I know the fine man palava. I don't want any man to destroy my vibe. Joby comes up at the eighth position with this beautiful rap song titled Women. Our number five video of the week is this beautiful smashing collab song from Cameroonian artist Charlotte Dibanda featuring France based Congolese artist Singila. The song is titled Cœur en Our number fourth video of the week is from Full titled Le Moment Pas. The song is produced by Enoch King and Magic. Complicated by Cameroonian artist Ewube takes the best Ladies and gentlemen, our number one video is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Sisul and the song is titled Shalen. You all watch and enjoy. A pick of the week is from Capi's Comedy World Fest Anniversary, which held on May 30th and it was in Boya. Enjoy the moment with those beautiful pictures. today's episode thank you so very much guys for watching thank you so very much for all the positive feedbacks you guys have been giving us on our different social media platforms in relation to this show but before we go i just want to inform you people that Sengo, who recently bought a multi-million brand new car had an accident it's rather unfortunate but we thank god that nothing happened to him so he's definitely safe it was hot and juicy with me miss bang please guys do like comment share subscribe and hit the notification button i'll be right back next week with so much more for more information on the cameron entertainment industry do follow us on our different social media handles we are on facebook on twitter on instagram and it's 237 showbiz do have a great weekend